If you'd like to learn and be inspired, join me on a quest of creativity. Explore film, alternative processes and digital. Please subscribe and hit that notification button to get the latest videos every week. So for this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to replace the ground glass in an 8x24 millimeter FKD camera. Uh, this is a Russian wooden camera, but this will also work for any other camera that requires ground glass. Now you will need the following things. Uh, very important, a glass cutter uh, to cut the glass, a pencil, a screwdriver to take apart the back of your camera where your ground, ground glass would be, pencil to mark out where you want to cut on the glass also some kind of metal ruler so you can slide your glass cutter along now I've cut my ground glass to size to actually make the glass, you use this grinding paste. Now this grinding paste is used for actually in the automotive industry for grinding uh, the valves to smoothen them out. And it comes on a fine side and on a coarse side and where you start off with the coarse side. But we'll go through that a bit later. You also need a piece of wood like this. I have a round piece where you actually dip this stuff in and then you just do a circular motion to actually uh, grind the glass. You'll also need a piece of your old uh, ground glass so you can make comparison. Now I've already done this a few times because I broke my glass a few times and so I used some practice pieces and you'll need to do this to actually get uh, an understanding of the technique. So this was a piece here and you can see the grinding paste actually does work quite well. Now I have to do the edges here better uh, on my next piece. So when you're buying a frame, try and get it as close as possible uh, to the actual ground glass that you require. I went to kind of a cheap uh, dollar store or one euro store to buy this picture frame, which actually cost me, I think two euros. And it's pretty close in size to my back of my view camera. I did make another piece here. As you can see, I broke it. And this is a bit of advice. When you're working with glass, use a very flat surface. Make sure there's no bumps or anything on your surface that is absolutely super flat uh, because this stuff is quite delicate and easy to break. To cutting is quite simple. Uh, you also need a piece of sandpaper here and a block of wood that just to sand out the edges so that they're not sharp. So you can work with them because otherwise not kind of not kind of nice to put a, a piece of ground glass in that is got nasty edges in there because who knows you might run your finger along the back of the glass here in your view camera and cut yourself or maybe your your um dark cloth or something like that so this was the first example i did and it fitted quite well wasn't so bad, uh, fitted perfectly, and then I unfortunately broke it. So I have to start all over again, and that's probably what's going to happen if you're going to do this yourself. So get at least about three of these picture frames to work on to practice this method. It's not hard, uh, actually the cutting is probably very easy. The grinding is a little bit laborious. It will take a good um, 20 minutes to grind this glass if not maybe 40, 40, uh, 40 minutes, then you have to do it again with the fine thing. And you've got to always uh, make sure that you don't uh, break the glass. Uh, what I do for that is when I'm grinding, use an old t-shirt and I put this flat on my bench uh, and I put the glass on that and make sure it's super flat and grind away. So I'll go through this whole thing. And hopefully we'll get a piece of glass that is suitable to use as a ground glass on the back of my on my old Russian view camera. So let's begin.
using my grinding paste, I grind it for a good 40 minutes with the with the coarse part of this of this pack, of this kit, and then the fine part uh, for about 20 minutes, and then I wash it off with a bit of uh, washing up liquid and some hot water just to get rid of all all the excess oil and whatever that was left and now it's pretty much dry it'll take a little longer to dry but to me it looks pretty good so that that looks good that's ready to go uh, into my view camera and hopefully it should work If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell and hope to see you on the next video. Goodbye.